Hi folks and welcome to Art Tips with John, the show that brings you not only tips to build your artistic talent, but also tips on how to build your business. I am your host John Morris and welcome to today's show. Okie doke folks, welcome wherever you are in the world today. Today we're in the studio, so we're in a different location, but I want to take this time just to flick on the camera and actually answer and give some tips to a topic that people have really, really struggled with. And I mean every creative mind at some point will go through this, and it is the dreaded creative block. So first of all, you could ask the question, you know, what is the creative block? The creative block is when you are a creative mind or an artist or a musician or an author and you've got all these ideas that come just naturally, 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 and then all of a sudden, boom, it stops. Okay, it is the thing that creative minds probably fear the most because if you build your business upon your know, creative skills, then it's kind of scary when those creative skills just run dry and you yeah, just run flat, basically. So the question that we're going to ask first is what causes the creative block? Okay, creative blocks can come in all shapes and sizes. It could be a boredom, okay, of a project or a niche market that you are working in. It could be you've gone as far as you can go in the market that you are working in. It could also be that you are overtired and that you've stretched your brain waves as far as they can go. That is a problem that I suffer with a lot. If I get overtired and too much work and try to do too much, eventually I get to the point where I'm like, I can't do this anymore. I'm done. I need time out. I need time away from everybody. I have had enough. So what do you do when these kind of things happen? Well, my first piece of advice is don't panic, okay? I'm gonna tell you a really, really quick story here. I wrote a song uh, when we came back from Slovenia. Uh, I had a, a chorus that was going through my mind that basically just kept saying, run away, you know, run away my little angel, you know, all these things. And it kept coming and coming and coming and coming. And to the point I was like, there's something here, there's something going on. And I got back from Slovenia, back to Scotland, and I sat down to write it. And all I could get was the chorus, and barely the chorus, okay? So I'm sitting there with my little notepad, and then I switched to my laptop, because sometimes it helps, you know, just divvying things up. Then I switched to a voice recorder, then I just switched to guitar, and, and started playing with different things. Nothing was coming, okay? And I was trying to force the song now the biggest problem when you try to force anything creatively is it isn't your best work, okay? I can tell you that now from 14 years worth of experience of songwriting, of music, of speaking, of, you know, everything else, um, I can tell you now that if you've got to force it and it isn't coming naturally, the chances are it's probably not going to be your best work. So, I sat down and I put it to one side and it took maybe about a month or two and what I originally thought it was going to be about, it actually wasn't at all. The original idea that I had was to write a tribute for Rowdy Roddy Piper, of which we did a painting for, and you can see the video on YouTube as well if you look through my, uh, be on our WWE uh, playlist. Um, but it actually wasn't. What it turned out to be was we're sitting there watching Harry Potter, I'm engrossed in these characters and I'm thinking, oh, this is good. You know, again, you've got an affirmation with, with everything that's going on and you've got a, a connection with these characters. And all of a sudden in the fourth film, these words started flying to me. And I said to my wife, I was like, I've got to start writing. I've got to write now. I did. And I'll tell you something. The song that came away is called Runaway. The song that came out of all of this, I honestly believe in the most humble way possible. It is my definitive song. Okay, now I've had some definitive songs over the years, such as It's Gonna Be Alright or The Memory Road, but this one in particular with Runaway was like the coup de grace. It was like, wow, how it sounds, how it looks, how it feels. The music video is also on our YouTube channel as well, so I do encourage you, if you're interested, to check that out. It is available for digital download as well. Um, from our website, johnmorrisartfromtheheart.com. But, getting back on track, what do you do when you've got, you know, creative block? Well, the first thing, as I said, you know, is actually stop. Don't panic. It's not the end, okay? For 14 years, the amount of times that I've sat there and I've thought, ah, oh, is this going to be the last time that actually I, I have that big push and that big painting sale or that big painting that comes out, this big idea that happens, I can tell you now, 
Gosh, I mean, I, I've been through so many different painting styles over the years, whether it be seascapes, landscapes, portraits, wrestlers, um, you know, commissioned work, pets, you name it, and it's always been these things that keep on coming. You find a new thing that you latch onto and it's like a new lease on life. So the first thing is don't panic. Now, as you can see, the painting behind me has changed. There is a reason for this. This canvas that you see here has gone through so many different conceptions and ideas and thoughts and paintings. I've actually lost count with how many times that I've tried to work this canvas. It has been one of the ones that I probably just struggled with the most. And not because I wasn't thinking about it, but actually because it just didn't feel right. So what happened, I hear you cry? Well, I sat down one day. This is tip number two. Sit down, look online for different ideas of things that you might like to try and might like to do, and then start piecing them together. That's one of my biggest things that I can advise you to do, is actually take some time out, sit down, stick a DVD on, you don't have to listen to it too much, and get all different ideas together. What we ended up with was a sketch. I'll bring this a bit closer for you. Sorry, there's a glare. Um, this was the sketch that we put together. Now, a lot of people like the sketch uh, tremendously. And then what happened was a case of, okay, right, well, I like the castle from this picture and I like the water from this picture and I like this from this picture and the bridge and the lights and this, that, and the other. And before you know it, your creative mind starts flowing again. And then you start just diving into things like, oh, this could actually work really well. And what we ended up with, it's not quite finished, but what we ended up with was this castle in the night painting, okay? Um, I will actually stick up as well the different concepts and the different stages that this canvas actually went through before it finally got to this stage. Originally we had a big castle here, we had a bridge coming on out and trees down the bottom, then we had a bridge coming across the way, then we had uh, a house over here, there were lots of things that happened, okay, and it's all part of the creative process. So the first thing is don't panic, okay, it's not the end. The second thing is give yourself some time to actually just mess about, just, you know, kind of play around with different ideas. My third tip, and I really want you to get this, this is why the camera zoomed into my face just there, okay? My third tip that I really want you to get, take some time out, okay? If you are stressed, if you are overworked, if you are tired, if you are anxious, all those negative emotions, everything that's there, that will stunt your creativity. Why? Because you have gone from being in a place where you're like, oh, I'm really creative, I'm really excited, to a point of, I can't be bothered, I'm frustrated, I'm wound up, I can't do anything. Ideas, folks, and creative minds will tell you this all the time. They don't come because we sit there and we force them. They come because they sort of float around on the breeze and we're like, ooh, I've got an idea. I see something clearly. And let's put it in there. That's why being an artist is so special. And that art form can be an author, a musician, or an artist, or, or whatever it may be. But that's why it's so special, because not everybody who gets those ideas can then do something about it. So those are my three top tips for you today is number one, don't panic, okay? It is not the end. Number two is give your time, give yourself time actually to mess about and just come up with ideas. Look at different pictures that are similar to what you're wanting to do. And my third tip is take some time, take a weekend, okay, just to rest, just to chill out and have some fun. I hope this has really helped you guys. As always, please feel free to like, share and subscribe. It's really helping us build our audience and we love your support and comments each and every single week. I have been your host, John Morris. I encourage you, by the way, we've got a brand new show out called The Artist, which is something a little bit different. It airs on Fridays. There's one that's out, uh, last, last Friday was the pilot one, about a Halloween episode. There was tons of amazing content in there. If you want to learn how to paint, if you want to learn how to do something really, really different, if you want to be entertained, if you want to see illusion and you want an art tutorial on a Friday night, this is the place to be, okay? On YouTube, John Morris Art From The Heart. Check out The Artist. It is a show that I am so proud of, alongside with Art Tips With John, of course. And I think you will love it. Guys, have an awesome week. As I said, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. Check us out at johnmorrisartfromtheheart.com. And any questions you've got, of course, please get in touch, and I will always be here to help. Have an awesome week, guys. See you next Tuesday. Take care.